Kotlin visibility modifiers. Visibility modifiers are keywords that set the visibility, also called accessibility, of classes, objects, interface, constructors, functions, properties, and their setters. We cannot set visibility modifier for getter functions because they will take the same visibility as that of the property. So, visibility modifier inside one package. So, here we are having one table and where all the visibility modifiers applicable are written and the respective descriptions are given here. So, public declarations are visible anywhere, private visible inside the file containing the declaration. In this way, REST visibility modifiers they have got described here. Now, let us go for one example. This is a program. The name of the program is myprog.kt. KT is the extension for the Kotlin programs. So, package my package. Under this my package, we have defined one function. We defined another function. It is not any way visibility modifier mentioned. So, by default, it will be public and visible everywhere. And here it is private. So, visible inside myprog.kt. So, within this Kotlin program only, it will be visible. Internal function my function 3, visible inside the same module. In the same module, it will be visible because it is internal. And here, var name is equal to hello, visible everywhere because it is by default, it will be of visibility modifier public. Get is equal to field, private set value, set value, field is equal to value, you know. They are the setters and getters. So, accordingly, the visibility modifiers they have got written in the commented blocks. Visibility modifiers inside classes and interfaces. So, here is the list for us. Public, visible to any client who can see the declaring class. Private, visible inside the class only. In this way, other visibility modifiers are written and the respective descriptions are given in this table. Let us go for one example on it. Bhar A is equal to 1, so it will be public by default. Private bhar B is equal to 2, it is private to base class. Protected open val C is equal to 3, visible to both base and derived classes. Internal val D is equal to 4, visible inside the same module and protected function E visible to base class and derived classes because it is of the visibility modifier that is protected. So, in the derived class, so there is a base class, there is a derived class. So, here A, C, D and E function of the base class are visible, but B is not visible because it was with the modifier private. So, override val C 9, so C here is protected because initially C was visibility modifier protected. So, here also it will be also in the modifier protected. So, now this is the main function from where we have written that which are to be accessed and which cannot be accessed. So, changing visibility of a constructor. By default, the visibility of a constructor is public. However, we can change it. For that, we need to explicitly add constructor keyword like in this case. So, the constructor is public by default in the example below. Here the modified we have been written, but it will be by default public for the constructor. But if you want to change that one, then we should have to write in this way class test private constructor this. So, in this way we are changing the modifier from public to private and here we are using this constructor keyword here. So, in this way the constructor visibility can be modified. Local functions, variables and classes cannot have visibility modifiers. So, in this way we have defined that what are the visibility modifiers are applicable and where they are not applicable in our Kotlin programming. Thanks for watching this video.